Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? So I just wanted to talk about this show real quick because for some reason in this week's episode, it definitely just feels uh, weird to me that we've already knew about uh, this. I've already known about the second season or at least how many episodes I should be getting a fairy gone. So to hear that people are surprised to see you know, like, this conclusion and stuff, I really didn't understand why until I was like, oh, holy crap, like, they're literally calling this a 12-episode season, when, when I first was looking at it, the only reason why I was truly into this show, and I truly wanted to actually, um, see where it goes and watch the build-up, was because they were telling me that there was already, like, 26 episodes and I was, that's what I was expecting. I was expecting to watch literally 26 episodes or 24, something along those lines. And then it'd be over. Not that there was a break or anything. So I think it was just a weird communication on their part that we got to know about season two so quickly. Which I think should happen more. Like, not only was I not concerned about the ending of this episode... I wasn't in any like, oh my god, what could be poss- what could possibly happen, or is it ever going to come back, and this and that, you know, I had no questions of whether or not I'm going to see more of the show, and that's what I enjoy um, about being in this day and age of anime, like, this day and age of anime never even existed, like, people could never get, like, uh, any confirmation about stuff until it just kind of happened and I'm not saying it was anybody's fault besides you know maybe people who are researching it it was just not something that everybody researched or even if they did research it they weren't sharing that information like how it is shared nowadays like all this stuff has become so main like mainstream now that it's crazy to think that we can't find this information we that we if we couldn't do this stuff you know after being able to do it for so long now it's kind of cool um to see how big and you know how much communication this community has now it's very awesome to see uh and to be a part of a fact like if i find something i'm not gonna be like oh my god i can't wait to hold this information in for myself like i'm gonna tell the people i actually want to know about it you know and then if you are someone that watches my channel or supports this, then you're someone I want to know about it. And I'll try to get it out to those types of people as soon as possible. Um, but if you don't know who I am and stuff like that, then you may never hear my opinion or stuff like that. So that's just how it goes. And that's how I feel this Fairy Gone episode was. It's just like whoever's opinions were heard the most are like the most... Uh, you know, they have the, the most eyes on them, and this week's episode had the most eyes on everybody who are the higher-ups on, you know, all sides of the governmental branch and stuff, so to think that all of this kind of uh, hits a head at the end with, you know, Ray Dawn showing up and pretty much being a part of this whole march on, you know, and take over the Empire, he's been a part of it in the case of the person that he's hired to be a spy is literally just acting as if he's one of them, you know, so that literally means Ray Dawn is one of them as well because he knew everything they were going to do and allowed it slash supported it by giving him one of his men to do whatever needed to be done for such an occasion. But it does usher all the way back to like, what in the heck is Radon up to like what is his end game goal now because we have now seen you uh seemingly on the bad side of like just peasants and lower people who he didn't really act as if they were human as much as he acted as they were just in their obstacles everything in his way is only obstacles they're not human beings they're not people they're not animals they're just obstacles and that's the type of feeling I was getting when, uh, he finally got to do what he wanted to do against 
this guy who was trying to take over the empire you're just like oh well finally that obstacle that i really wanted to get out of my way is out of my way you know like that's literally all this came down to um even to the guy who uh free wants to find and you know like understand and try to take him out if he has to uh is a part is the man who was the spy on their team and at the same time gave us a really compelling reason to almost you know want to forgive his character but at the same time there's no way we could he's gonna get like forgiven and because only reason why he's seemingly doing all this is because his family died and he wants revenge for them so what does someone who want re re uh re re revenge uh who wants revenge and then gets it like what do they get afterwards besides loneliness and darkness if they don't plan ahead to live a life for those people he's revenged you know so it kind of gave me the feeling that he is on a lost cause already um and if he does succeed he's going to find out how much of a lost cause it is in the case of who will be left for you to mourn with uh and stuff like that but overall this show is very very well pasted in the case of um giving us a main character who just doesn't seemingly fit in to all of a sudden has to deal with everything that everyone is dealing with and not she didn't even really understand that that was kind of her um you know like she was kind of already a part of all this and she didn't even really treat it like she was she treated it almost as if she was still that outsider that cursed child that wasn't really being treated as one of the one of the you know one of the guys one of the girls but at the same time she was capable of some type of change when it comes down to the battles sometimes of uh you know just her overall showing that whatever happens she's gonna you know fight through it with you and stuff all that stuff really helped build up her character and then to see her lose something we saw exactly how she was going to react and she wants she wants blood like we just literally watched the guy who single-handedly you know caused all this trauma to her get destroyed almost towards the end here like i'm pretty sure his arm is going to be messed up for almost maybe ever the way it took the damage and then um i'm pretty sure we might see uh, a good amount of why <clears throat> a good amount of why he's fighting the way he is because like he says there is, he uh free tells him that this there's no you know like age for, there is this isn't his age of war and or this age isn't for war just in general and this man who is a just demon with his sword is like well any age is a good age for war so yeah he pretty much don't care about anything free got to say and he's gonna probably stay that way i mean he's definitely one of my like evil evil characters that's oh well, yeah yeah he's definitely i'm pretty sure he was working for the guy that goes inside and gets bodied this week i mean sure they're mercenaries so i don't think they really work for anyone besides themselves and money um so even after finding out that this guy gets you know kicks the bucket I don't think it's going to be something that, you know, hits hard on them. Like, oh my god, how can we go on living? You know, it's not it's not going to be anything like that. But it's going to feel probably more or less in the case of uh, them trying to do anything after. They might have a little bit of a reason to avenge him or to continue the plan that he already had set forth or something along those lines. And that would be a good reason why we probably will be seeing them again. Or just the simple fact that he wants power or that he wants to continue these wars because as he was telling us the whole time, he enjoyed himself, you know, like he's sitting there fighting literally smiling ear to ear because he's just having fun. So that's just how this character gets down. And it's actually kind of scary uh, to know that he's probably not going to go down easy. And if he does go down, it's probably going to be because of everybody working together like this week. And even when they work together, he's still disarmed 
uh, free by literally allowing his arm to take an attack from his sword, keeping the sword in his arm, and then breaking it once he took it out by himself. So, yeah, this guy really is dope. <laughs> but I can see his life being very short. Definitely, a, a, it's definitely one of those knucklehead guys that just goes out fighting to the death regardless of knowing he could die at any time he just fights with reckless abandon so it, it, it looks dope it act it, it's you know what i mean like it's something you want to see because he's doing it and i like i like characters like that so we'll see how that plays out for him uh overall though let me know how you guys are feeling about this show i mean with it supposedly taking a break now saying to be continued already and stuff like that um what do you expect to get from the second part and if we do get a long second part that's got a lot of episodes to it or just 12 again um how far along do you think the show will go do you think there will be a conclusion to who needs to be the emperor or who's going to take over the throne and stuff like that or do you think it's still going to be an ongoing thing even at the end of the next couple of episodes that we get but with all that being said, ooh booty, ooh boobies, I will talk to you guys next time, and I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be when you're watching this. I am your boy, the Anime G, and I hope you have an awesome one. And uh, definitely, if you wouldn't mind, check out the Attack on Titan video and any other videos I might drop before this one, because I know you guys have been supporting me so well. Um, someone said, just ask whatever you want, and we shall try to help you out, and... I guess I'll start doing that as well. I'll just ask you guys to watch stuff for me. And if you do so, thank you. Thank you. And if not, thank you for just watching this in general. It means the world to me to get any type of support on this channel. Uh, I can't wait to keep grinding. So with all that being said, take care.